Amanda is a brave girl. She's uh, had a very difficult problem that she's been dealing with for many years. So this is a CT scan of Mandy's neck and the area that is uh, compressing the spinal cord, this is where the spinal cord lives, is um, right here. The uh, treatment is really the uh, fusion of the bones so the spinal cord won't get compressed. The problem is her bones are very soft and they're small. So it's very difficult to put instrumentation in, in a way that's safe, so the screws don't pull out. What'd you get up? 4.30ish. She only has one blood vessel supplying the back part of the brain. If that gets damaged, that's not a survivable condition. We'll probably do the surgery from the right side over there. To avoid any risk to blood vessels or the spinal cord, we'd like to use intraoperative imaging. All righty, see you down there. MRI is an amazing technology. It's very precise imaging, deep to the skin. CT allows us to image bone and density of tissues much more accurately than x-rays. As, as, as far as we go for now, we've got to get ourselves all together. Yep. Just keep doing it right I told her and that I loved her. And she doesn't know it, but I gave her a kiss and then I left. So we're going to uh, kind of a two-part surgery, uh, do one part from in front, and then uh, we'll do one part in back. With this technology in CSI, we're able to image things while we still have the chance to change them and adjust them without a lot of added risk to Amanda. The CSI was helpful because the CT scan showed that there was a piece of bone that uh, we still needed to remove. To be able to do that during surgery is very powerful. Waiting I can do. I've got my knitting, I've got my books. I have my cell phone, although I'm not a big cell phone user. I'll be all right. I mean, just because there's nerves doesn't mean there isn't confidence behind the surgeons and the anesthesiologists. We trust the team. I can tell you when I reached the 11 o'clock hour and they thought they'd be done by 11, uh, the anxiety level went up. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Um, they're still working. It was a very difficult surgery and we had to pretty much use every element of technology that we designed in CSI. We thought it was going to be simple to take the old screws out and put slightly larger screws in. Uh -huh. The older screws, the upper ones, uh -huh. had actually They'd grown into her skull. Dr. Bauer had to remove the bone and then move the membranes of the brain away from the screws. Finding out the first surgery screws had gone through her skull was a little heart-stopping. I mean, that's not something any of us knew was going to happen when we went in.